Hello everyone, this is Foxy Legion, bringing you another Dark Souls PvP build. And this one is called, well not really a build, more like a style, but incorporates a build, that's what I mean. And this build is called, Jumping Thunder. And I'll show you why in just a second. Or right now. Because right now would be the perfect time to show. Jumping Thunder because we're lightweight, fast roll, oosh, oosh, oosh. Oosh, oosh, a lot of jumping. And Thunder, Thunder being very powerful, powerful Pokemon move. Yeah, low accuracy, 70% accuracy, 120 damage maybe, or maybe only 100, but still a lot of damage. So Thunder, because we've got the Swite Hander. Hefty poise breaking. Hefty, hefty, I'm, I'm talking hefty. Two for stun locking a Havel. But like uh, Thunder, because it's very strong and it's only lightning because it's elementalized, because our stats do not scale with the Swite Hander in a plus 15 mode, so we're relying on thunder, so jumping thunder, and that's why, just because of all this jumping, and all this stabbing, Kia. Kia. right, and we'll just quickly go through the stats to show you why, right, so here, we have Lilith, that's her name, don't know why, just sounded pretty cool, uh, soul level 120, unofficial PvP level, stick to that guys, because it's annoying when you fight over level people, the berg, god damn it, because you're already at a goddamn disadvantage, that's how many souls. Total souls in possession. They have various uses, but they're left behind at the spot of one's death. Sad face. But yep. Yeah, right, this guy has got a lot of vitality, and uh, 78, which is huge, gives us this 2090 with the Ring of Favor and Protection. Remember that. Uh, achievement 14, only to hold three slots, I think. Yeah, three slots, because we're not using a lot of sorceries, we're just using them as like. Alterations of the class. Ways for it to bend. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and uh, Endurance 40, just because stamina caps out there. You want as much stamina as you want because you heavy swipe as the Y hander swings. Use a lot of stamina, so that's always good to have. And no over 40 because don't want to be wasting too many points in uh, just getting a quick load up. So yeah, it's a good point to stop off that. Strength 24, just enough to hold the Y hander one handed. Uh, dexterity 10, not needed for the white hander. It's a heavy strength based weapon, so dexterity is not an issue. But that also means we can't cast very fast, and that's why we only have three attunement slots. Because we ain't going to be relying on our attunements. Uh, resistance 12, that's just base, I think. Or maybe just one point put into it to make it 12. So, like, nice even numbers. Just a thing about me. Intelligence base and phase 16, just enough to cast uh, replenishment, which makes you a bit more tanky in battles. Yep, and then we'll just go for the equipment, which is over here. <coughs> right, in the main hand, as white hand up, lightning's white hand up plus five, gives us that huge damage. What's that like? Seven hundred without defense. And uh, let's read a bit of info. Add a bit of flavor to this character build. One of their gigantic straight swords, as the name suggests, the Zwei hander is held with two hands. But its wielder still must still be impunely strong. It is it, this great weight that sends foes flying when hit solidly. Eh? We always like the solid hits. Oop. And uh, then we have the Thoral and Tasman, because it doesn't scale with faith, so it gives that semi decent castings with things like heal, great heal expert. But remember, we're not heavily based in faith, so that's it. That's all that needs to be said. Uh, Dark Hand, that's just for a shield, because you're very. Can't go over the weight limit. Well, that just acts as an alright shield. Good against spear users because Jesus Christ, how the hell did you be a spear user? And then we got Orstein's helm. Oop! We just took it off. Yeah, there we go. Semi decent, gives us that nine poise. Mainly just for looks because I like the lion head. Then we got Dingy Robe, which is actually really good at magic defense and lightning, so that'll keep you quite safe. But remember, no poise low weight, so we keep in that weight class of below 25 for the fast roll. 20, I mean, not 25% 20, endurance, sorry. And then we got traveling gloves, very light gloves, but give a bit of defense, put something on your hands. And also, a little side note, as you can see here, also gives you sleeves with the dinghy robe. I don't know what else does, I think leather gloves do that as well, but I'll give you an example of um, no sleeves, which would be hmm, something like, yeah, soft for gloves. You see then, See your arm, I don't like that. Don't like the skin colour. Get out of here, sister. Put on these 
white travelling gloves back on. And then also Eastern Leggings, plus five. You might think, what? That's kind of weird. Rubbish defence and all that. But it gives six poise. That combined with um, Orstein's helmet with the nine poise brings us up to 15 poise, if I can do my math right. Not hard. Oh, who is this guy? And um, with the Wolf Ring boosting that, we get past the 52, 53 poise to uh, withstand the Claymore hits, everything like that, just so we don't get stun locked. <clears throat> and everything above that, say the bigger weapons, are too s just slow enough to dodge or most of the time. But the only problem this class is going to have is with spears, and so that's all that. Overall defense then is 286, that's not that bad. And then we've got a lot of uh, all round magic, flame, and lightning as well, so we're quite rounded. Good poise and heavy damage, so that's why I quite, quite like the class, one of my favorites. Um, yeah, and the Ring of Favor and Protection to increase that stamina, equip load, and HP, and then the Wolf, wolf Ring to boys, boys po. What is this guy saying? Can he not talk? Boost Poise. Wolf Ring boosts Poise. There we go. And uh, yeah, I'll show off this move set. Obviously, I like to do that. One handed, this white hander. Swing. Swing. Huge arc. What's that? That's all. That's like. Three quarters. That's a lot. <laughs> um, 270 degrees it looks like that has on. You just miss that little, you see that little segment you miss. From that little dust cloud to that dust cloud. Almost such such good defense, like good good arc. Always hitting. And that's just one handed combo, big swings. Quite good at stun locking, but you want to be using two handed for most people. That's good, yeah. And then you got one-handed heavy, which is, oh, love, that's probably one of my favourite moves in the whole game. I like, couple steps forward, he kind of goes slow. Should always go in slow motion, in my opinion, when it happens, but... Thunder! Jumping! Thunder! Yeah, that's where the class gets its name from, but that's it. And then if you want to combo it, it's a... Uh, drop down, and another swing. Never use the other swing, because it's too slow, and you don't get any range, because if you notice here, Start from this plank here. We launch one heavy. Get some good distance on that, all the way over there. But if we go for like a double, the second one barely gets anywhere. What's that about? That's only good for luring people in and smacking them down again. And that's the two handed. Then you got while running. Step back. Kind of the same as this one. But it's a bit bit faster, I'd say. Less damage. Oh, sorry. I suppose we're doing that one handed. <laughs> And then we've got rolling, which is an amazing attack. Rolling, pierce and stab, good range, fast. Rolling to get close, stab on the, there, rolling away. You can sometimes get him, good for chipping in damage. Good move. And good for starting a stun lock. <coughs> and then two handed, well, one handed jump. Oop, that is not a jump. That's one handed jump. No, two handed is all the same, but obviously. Bit more poise breaking and a bit more damage. You got one handed swings. Then you got. I mean, two handed swings, sorry. And then you got two handed heavies. Thunder! Double thunder! And then you got jumping. Then you got rolling. And then you got wild running. Step back. And uh, hmm. just to add a bit more time to this, I'll give you a little combo I like to use. This is called Returning Thunder. You got step back, run in, heavy, run in again. That's just Returning Thunder. Good range on it, but very narrow, very linear, so you're not going to... Easy to dodge. <laughs> and then you always got the stun lock, which is just swing, 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 swing. See you later, guys. You're dead, because you got stun locked. Which is... Eh, some people look down upon it, but I don't mind. Part of the build, sacrifice. I'm using a lot of stamina, but a poise break very slow, so I'm allowed to poise. I'm allowed to stun lock, and anyone's allowed to stun lock me. And yeah, it's just the way it flows. And also another combo is just um, the roll away. A good one is dodging one of their attack, dodging an attack of theirs, and quickly coming back to the heavy, fly back in there, and that just pancakes, which is cool. Sends on the floor. Everyone starts shitting a bit, like oh. 
Got a pancake, lost a lot of health. Go a bit defensive, that's when you start putting the pressure on. A lot of rolling, a lot of stabbing, a lot of rolling, a lot of stabbing, waiting for him to mess up. But I've noticed a lot of people are good at parrying heavy swords, so you want to be a little bit unpredictable. Roll out, heavy back in. Oof. Right, and we'll go do some PvP right now. But I'll have to connect to the internet. So, see you in a second, guys. Rop, 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 rop. And here we go, right into an evasion. <clears throat> One thing I forgot to mention before was replenishment, that miracle we got. Cast out at the start of a fight to make yourself more tanky. That allows you to um, take a hit and run in with the good poise. So say, you know you're going to get hit by a, uh, say like a standard longsword hit. Run in there with a heavy, take the hit and pancake him. Guaranteed damage, and a little bit to you, but you're just going to heal that back. Easy peasy guys, easy peasy. Here we go now, right into a fight. Crossbow guy shooting downwards, so I'm guessing he's on the... Oh, he's right here! Shit, dude! Don't scare me like that. Oh! Oh! He's not even got any HP. It's crazy. What do you want? Oh, he's a glitcher. Let's try and knock him off the edge. Oh, this is tense. This is tense! I won against Glitcher. Infinite HP defeat. Look at. Oh, oh. <coughs> I feel sick at how many souls I just got. What the cheesecake is going on? But yeah, that's a good win. <laughs> Sweet. Even though I don't need the souls anymore, that could have boosted me tenfold into the great, great 200s. No, it couldn't. Who am I kidding? But still, that was a lot of souls, and that doesn't showcase anything. So. We'll keep talking about um, the miracles. And we also got Force as another miracle. Um, that just really good. Doesn't use any endurance when you cast it. And pushes back, obviously, the Force. But it's good at keeping their distance away from you. Because you got, you got mid range with this. Pretty good close range, but it's slow. So you got to be careful. And good mid range. That's where it excels as class, mid range. And Force keeps them there. If they jump in, in like one of your little swings. So say we swing, whiff. They jump in now. Force. Push him back. Smack down. That's a good little thing to do. But um, yeah, just good good force, good for doing stuff like that. And then we also got great heal, that's just for healing up in a fight. Say like something weird happens. Say you're using humanity. But that could become a miracle like um emit force, but that's just nah, no way. Rubbish rubbish miracle. And uh, we could either have more force, I guess, that'd be pretty cool. Forty two as opposed to just twenty one. But yeah. That's all there else is to the class, and then hopefully you get into another fight soon. Not that lame one. Well, kind of lame, exciting, bit of everything. It was like a pancake with peanut butter on it. Nuff something you don't see every day, but interesting. It might even be tasty. That's exactly what it was. Yep, but uh, we'll cut recording here until we get into another match, and hopefully it isn't too long. So, BRB, guys. Right, we're back with another invasion, and hopefully we win this one, and it's not a weird hacker battle. Because we don't like hacker battles, they seem almost impossible to win. Right, here we go. Ooh, oh, I actually fought this guy a second ago, and he sent me a nice message, hopefully I'll have another GG. Maybe a bow and a wave to start it off, and I will be casting replenishment at the start, I'm not sure if you're alright with that guys, but I'm doing it. It's part of my build! Oh, hello. 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 Oh, he's bowing. Hello. Right. Cash replenishment. He's got a fast weapon, spear, light damage, fast attacks. So, uh, force is going to be probably, might be helpful in this matchup. And now I'm going to walk up to him omnipotently and not get up the staircase. Yeah. Battle! Oh, Chaos Blade now. Even better. Force is going to be even better now. Let's fight. Or maybe not. Oh, I feel dirty already. Right, I'm just going to go for it. Right, he seems to be watching me out. Keeping his distance. Probably going to move him on, on a whiff. Shield. Ooh, there's some good hit. There's poise break. So he's got heavy poise. That's something we got to watch out for. Mid roll, that's nice. I like that. The sword does quite a bit of damage, but you see, the replenishment is always working, already working on that. Yeah. 
roll, right, go for pyromancy. Oh, hmm. My tactic of pyromancy, you have, everyone has a big problem with. But, oh, it's, it's gonna be some fog. Oh, cool. I like that. I like that, man. Another thing, when you have a big weapon like this, why hand it? That's heavy poise damage. Hitting little shields like that, you're just gonna fuck them up. You're gonna ruin the day. Look at him, like, whoa! I can't block that. Nice roll. And there's the arc in action. There you see, clipping in with a dead angle. And down he goes. Pray to his name, pray in his grave. GG again, my friend. And there we go. It's a bit of jumping thunder. Not a lot of jumping, not a lot of thunder there, but still, just a look at it. the damage we can do. Thunder good against heavy armor. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, also, I'll be bringing out another PvP video. Oh, no, sorry, not PvP video. Another PvP build. But this one, the other, the other build I'm bringing out is going to be lame. It's the one that's in that triumphantly toxic video. And also, I've heard a lot about um, Prepare to Die. Obviously, I haven't got it. I've seen a lot about it. Can't wait till it comes out on consoles. But my computer just can't hack it, so um, that's the reason why. But yeah, there's a lot of changes. Stuff like Claymores. Um, what um, light swing, not the heavy attack, has been slowed down to avoid poise uh, stun locking, which I don't think needed to happen anyway. Because now they're gonna, hmm, I don't know, maybe they'd be a lot less prevalent. But the spears, I reckon the spears needed nerfing, and some other things. For some reason, the katana two-handed light attack was sped up because it was too slow. I don't know why, but that's gonna be cool. But ah. Uh, I'm not good against katanas, and they're really strong, so I don't know why they made them stronger. And some other things, nice new magic, new sorceries and stuff like that, that's that's going to be cool to try out. So, um, yeah, hopefully I'll see you soon with some more videos, <laughs> which come out every month. Yeah! <laughs> see you later, guys.